Indian Parliament this week approved a proposal by the Hindu nationalist-led government that strips statehood from Jammu and Kashmir, splitting the region into two union territories. The legislation was introduced alongside a presidential order that takes from the region and its people some political autonomy and hereditary rights by revoking Article 370 of India's constitution. Modi had long promised to strike down Article 370 of the Indian Constitution that provided Kashmir a semi-autonomous status. But it was done in Trump style of recognition of occupied Golan Heights as Israeli territory. Days before the move, India had deployed thousands of additional troops in the occupied region to suppress any protests. Roads are blocked, internet and telephone services are freezed. So far, six people were injured in protests that erupted after presidential decree on Monday removed the Muslim-majority region's special status. Even those Kashmiri leaders, who had sided with India in the past, have been detained. The remarks by Mabuba Mufti clearly indicates outrage in occupied Kashmir over Modi's sinister design. According to Article 370, 3, of the Indian Constitution permits revocation of the law by presidential order. However, such an order is required to be introduced before the state's constituent assembly. Since the body was dissolved in 1956 therefore, the parliament cannot abrogate it. The Article 35A came into existence when former ruler of IOK, Maharaja Hari Singh, signed a treaty of accession for the state to join the rest of the union. Formalized in Article 370 of the Indian Constitution. It is the Article 35A of India Constitution, that defines only local legislature in IOK have the right to define permanent residents of the region. It forbids Indian from permanently settling, buying land, holding local government jobs or winning education scholarships in the region. The article, also bars female residents of IOK from property rights in the event that they marry a person from outside the state. While Article 35A has remained unchanged, some aspects of Article 370 have been diluted over the decades. Turning Kashmir into a union territory means the central government will gain much more control over the area's affairs, including its courts. Electoral constituencies will be reorganized using 2011 census figures. This could further inflame the region if more power is shifted to Jammu, where Modi and his Hindu nationalist party enjoy strong support. It should be a cause of serious concern for Pakistan that there is complete silence over the Indian action. That makes India more belligerent. So far, only ICJ and UN chief has condemned legislative step taken by India in Kashmir which is blow to international law and warned that it will further escalate situation between the two nuclear powers. It is a point of shame for all Muslim countries who should be supporting Pakistan, including brotherly Saudi Arab but they are dead silent. Because in recent years they have developed strong ties with India ignoring Pakistan sacrifices. China Foreign Ministry spokeswoman, Hua Chunying has announced reservation on India legislative move which also allows to include Chinese territory into its admirative jurisdiction. She said this would further complicate border issues between the two countries. Indian opposition parties, have termed it darkest chapter in India democracy and aiming to challenge the legality of the action through a presidential order in the Supreme Court, which would likely reject the presidential order. So, all eyes are now on India Supreme Court. If you love our news and analysis, like and subscribe our channel for future access to our videos without any streaming disintegration. Wise of the nation.